Hi everyone, this is Maverick Paul, the Chemistry Guru. Now in this video, we want to discuss the suggested solution for 2020 A-Levels H2 Chemistry Paper 1 Question 24. Now 24, ethyl amine, C2H5 NH2 and diethyl amine both behave as Lewis bases in the gas phase. So Lewis bases are my lone pair donors. So I have two equations here involving the reaction with HCl and I have two equilibrium, equilibrium 1, equilibrium 2. Equilibrium 1 involving ethyl amine, equilibrium 2 involving diethyl amine. So which row correctly identifies which equilibrium position lies further to the right and one reason for the relative positions of the two equilibria. So I have options A, B, C, D, equilibrium position that lies further to the right hand side that means the favoring of this acid base reaction. So A and B is talking about equilibrium 1 is favored. C and D is saying that equilibrium 2 for my diethyl amine is favored. Then reason for the relative positions. If I look at my options, we have essentially two of them, electron withdrawing effect of alkyl groups versus electron donating effect of alkyl groups. Actually, straight away we can eliminate this electron withdrawing effect of alkyl groups because I know that R groups are electron donating. Consistently, in syllabus, we actually do talk about it. So straight away, we can eliminate uh, option A and option C. But let us run through the concept involving this exercise. If I compare basicity of nitrogen compounds, of course, the topic tested in this exercise will be involving nitrogen compound. Now, basicity of nitrogen compound, we focus on the availability of lone pair for donation because if they are Lewis base, they will function as a lone pair donor. And if the lone pair is more available for donation, you make that nitrogen compound a stronger base. And let us compare ethyl amine versus diethyl amine. Now we know that my ethyl group, which is an alkyl group, they are electron donating. R groups are electron donating. And therefore, the number of R groups that is attached to a nitrogen will actually affect how electron rich your nitrogen is and in turn it affects the lone pair availability for donation. Of course my ethyl amine, the nitrogen is only bonded to one R group. So I have one R group which is electron donating, push electron to nitrogen. So nitrogen actually will have more electron or the electron density on my nitrogen will increase. It will make nitrogen more willing to donate its lone pair. So we can think of it in this way. Nitrogen wants a certain amount of electron density around itself. So if it is attached to a donating group that gives electrons to nitrogen, then it feels that it is more electron rich. It is more willing to share its lone pair with somebody else. It is more willing to donate the lone pair. So if I compare ethyl amine versus ammonia, for example, because ammonia, nitrogen, it doesn't have any electron donating group, then we will expect ethyl amine to be more basic as compared to ammonia. But in this case, I'm comparing with diethyl amine. Of course, the comparison uh, will be different. Diethyl amine, I have two R groups, obviously. So I have one R group and I have two R groups. Each of these R group will donate electron or push electron to nitrogen. And this will affect the lone pair availability on my nitrogen. For my diethyl amine, because I have more electron donating R groups, push electron to nitrogen, this nitrogen will feel richer in terms of electron density, so it is more willing to use the lone pair for donation because there are other sources of electron that is giving me electrons. So I feel that I'm more electron rich and I'm more willing to give up my lone pair, share my lone pair with somebody else. So that will make diethyl amine a stronger base as compared to ethyl amine. Ethyl amine only has one electron donating R group. So the lone pair on my nitrogen comparatively will be less available for donation you make it a weaker base. So this is the basis uh, involving the comparison for basicity for ethyl amine versus diethyl amine. The more substituted the amine is, the stronger the base. Secondary amine is more basic than primary amine. Tertiary amine in turn will be more basic than secondary amine. And if I consider the position of equilibrium, when I take a look at that, we would expect if it is a stronger base, you push the reaction towards the right hand side because it will favor this acid base reaction, favor this lone pair donation. I would expect my diethyl amine, since this is a stronger base, 
the position of equilibrium will be shifting towards the right hand side favors the forward reaction while eta amine if it is a weaker base the position of the equilibrium will not lie so much towards the right hand side so essentially we have our answer here i know that the equilibrium position that lies further to the right should be equilibrium 2 because it involves my stronger base di etal amine so a and b is eliminated i'll have to choose between c and d again what we have talked about previously we should know very well that my alkyl group has to be donating it is not a withdrawing group so between option c and d i can eliminate the option where it says that alkyl groups are withdrawing which is option c and therefore the answer to this exercise will have to be option D. Alright, so that was the discussion involving this question. If you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. I'll see you next week.